Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here in Jerusalem. So earlier today, um, I was going out to Ikea, driving to Ikea as one does towards the end of the week. Um, I was driving with my wife, driving from where we live in Jerusalem to um, one of the new Ikeas in Israel. It's uh, built near a place called Beit Shemesh, Hartuv. And we were driving through the, uh, the countryside and saw just these crazy, crazy burnt hills. Um, the hillside's completely full of trees that were just charred black as if you'd put them into a barbecue or something. And the reason this was, there was recently one of the worst uh, ecological events in Israel's history, a crazy, crazy forest fire that kicked off in this area, in, which is called the Jerusalem Hills. And uh, thankfully was brought under control, but not before. Unfortunately, a lot of houses were um, a lot of houses were were burned to the ground, and a significant amount of acreage um, was destroyed. So we were on the way out to IKEA, and I happened to have brought my camera because um, I thought it would be uh, you know as I'm uh, trying to learn YouTube and learn about making videos, I thought we'll go to IKEA, take a couple of videos of the. Of the five shackle falafel there and the other and the other wonders that exist in uh, in ikea in israel and uh we decided we'll just stop by this stop on this hillside to take a video of the burnt trees um so that's what we did now i wasn't really prepared for this um so ended up taking four three or four different clips um along with some b-roll on the way out there of just kind of the um the landscape as we were passing by and i just kind of edited that into a two minute clip uh which has just gone up on youtube so the reason i'm uh, recording this screencast is to demonstrate to you guys to anyone else who owns the canon vixia hf r800 how essential it is to set manual levels whenever you're working with an external microphone now uh, i've mentioned this many times but why not why not once more because it's, it's such a fun topic um, that was uh, supposed to be sarcastic. So here's the Vixia HFR800, and there is a 3.5 millimeter um, microphone input jack. Now, this is actually the whole reason I brought this camcorder. I'm, I'm serious. It was the only camera I could find at this price point that had external, an external audio jack, a mini jack. Um, so that opens up a lot of possibilities for working with different types of microphones uh, with the camera, the camcorder. So there's a couple of things to know about that. And uh, I learned this by error. The Canon community, Canon community community.canon.com is a great forum of Canon users. Uh, Nick over there sorted me out. Thank you again, Nick, uh, because I got a wireless system in the US and I brought it out for a test run, hooked up uh, a wireless lav mic and the audio was unusable. It was the gain was was the gain the gain was something awful you, you you couldn't listen to it so uh what nick told me to do is well you need to very carefully dial in a manual level um before you use an external microphone with the vixia now i don't want to generalize and say this is every single camcorder before the vixia you do need to do this and i've demonstrated how to do that there's uh i'll put a uh, i'll put a link in the description i'll put a couple of uh you know end screen cards up there too now, um, what I want to do here is actually just demonstrate because I just I still have the raw clips up on my computer here and I want to show you what a difference it makes. Now, as well as that, I want to show you um, a flaw or I'm not sure a bug is the right word, but there's a problem with using the um, auto mic levels even when you're not using an external microphone. So you're just using the built-in microphone <coughs> on the Vixia, which by the way is at the front of the camcorder. And that is this. If you're shooting in windy conditions or even mildly windy conditions like we were today, then the auto level is going to be just trying to adjust the level based upon the loudness it detects, right? So if it hears that suddenly there's a lot of noise, like there's a lot of wind shear hitting the microphone, then it's going to dial down those levels. Now, what happens if you are speaking to the camera and to the microphone like this? at the same time that there's a gust of wind. So a gust of wind hits the microphone, the camera turns down the levels, and then the levels of you speaking are much too low. So um, one thing I always do uh, is just to keep the level meter always visible on the monitor. Uh, that's something I always do. And just for a quick reminder, if you do wanna change the auto levels, uh, toggle between them, hit the camera icon, and then you will have another 
thing there called mic level and you see it's currently set to A um, and I can go from A, you can click on mic level and now I have the option to click on M. I'm gonna click on M here. Now I've clicked on M. Now we're now I can now I'm configuring a manual mic level as currently set to 24. As I mentioned in my last video there, I think if you're working with a bunch of different microphones, uh, figure out what the what the gain you need to set on the camcorder is, the level, and then you will be able to use that going forward and maybe make a couple of tweaks. But if you're in a pinch, just use the same level used last time. So. Uh, this is it, and you can adjust it with these uh, arrow symbols. It's got a touch screen. So I'm just going to go back to um, automatic. So without further ado, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So you should be able to hear me speaking now, and I've got these this studio headphones on because um, I'm, I'm going to play a, a couple of clips here from from my raw footage I took earlier. What an exciting what an exciting technological project this is. So um, I created a folder here called audio comparison just, just, just for this video and uh, three clips here and I want to demonstrate the differences and I'll just say before I play them, um, before I play them I'm going to just explain what you're listening to. So clip number one is internal mic with auto levels and this was uh, just my, uh, my, my assistant for, for this scene was um, just, uh, just using the internal microphone on the Vixia recording me and the levels were set to internal. Now listen and I'll point out what's going on regarding the wind and the problem that creates with the levels. So we're just driving here to, uh, from Jerusalem. So you can already, um, I'm just gonna make myself a bit smaller, I didn't, uh, didn't plan this out in advance as, as you can uh, probably tell. Um, you're, you're hearing now already the wind is kind of picking up there. Now this was on kind of an exposed hillside so there was a lot of wind and it's already starting to kind of struggle a bit. To Beit Shemesh to check out the new IKEA and this particular road uh, transverses lots and lots of forestry and what you can see all around this area is just the absolute devastation caused by these forest fires which have happened already. Now there are just a couple of things to point out and look I'm not a I'm not, I'm not an audio expert but I do listen back to my clips and just pay attention to what it can do better next time. Now, what you saw there happening was when I was speaking to the camera here, look how directional the pickup is. So that's one major advantage of using a wireless uh, lavalier microphone is you've got it clipped onto you. So when I'm speaking to the camera, it's fine. And then as soon as I, soon as my uh, stage assistant uh, pans across, we lose the audio in a pretty dramatic fashion. All around this area is just the absolute just at this point here, you can hear how quickly that level drops off. Devastation caused by these forest fires, which have happened. The forest fires that were extinguished a few days, some of the worst in recent years in Israel. You can't get through YouTube and you can't smell is the very, very distinctive smell of burning wood that is still very, very much in the air. And that's this is a smell that's become, unfortunately, those of us living in Jerusalem, when the... I'm not sure... Land destroyed in Ukraine. Some of the worst fish by these all around this area. So the, the, there's parts there where the audio is like reasonably, reasonably okay. And then there's a lot of wind noise uh, in the audio track as well and it dropping off. That's number one. That's the internal Vixia microphone with um, other levels. And uh, by the way, these are the raw clips you're listening to. So there's no normalization or uh, post-processing applied to any of these. Number two is going to be voice to camera one lav mic with auto levels now uh, this this should provide an interesting point of comparison with the next clip which is going to be how this came out when those uh, levels were set on the camcorder so we're just here uh, driving from jerusalem to Beit Shemesh to check out the latest ikea here and the road between jerusalem and Beit Shemesh transverses lots and lots of forests and this is just after the recent forest fire so you can already uh hear here that the um Levels are too high, basically. Um, I'm just looking at what they're, what they're coming up to in my level meter. In fact, I can show you the level meter here. Uh, this is me speaking on the lav mic on the top, uh, top channel on the mixer, and then the uh, system audio is the, is the track that I'm playing in. Is that were only declared extinguished um, literally last week, and you can just see the scenery all around this area. It's just absolutely burnt, and the distinctive thing about this that you're not gonna be able to smell 
through YouTube is the fact that that very distinctive smell of burnt forest is still very much in the air. When the fires were going on in if you can already tell, I'm essentially saying the same thing in every single clip. I think th these were these were takes. Firstly, I did it with the camera, and then I said, you know what, I may as well try the lav mic, see if it sounds better. Um, and then I was like, wait, I forgot to set the level on the lav mic. So we did this clip uh, one more time. Jerusalem, in as far as far away as South Jerusalem in the city. Now this is outside of Jerusalem. You could smell the strong, distinctive smell of burning forestry. Uh, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure I have a career in broadcast media. Um, just coming in through our air conditioners and you can see I mean have a look at these trees they are literally burnt to a tinder and uh, I mean you can just see the rubbing off the wood on me and you can still green trees and unfortunately right now it's a mixture of green trees and burnt trees by the way this was uh, this this Im imaginative um script was uh impromptu uh i was just trying to think of but it was i mean it's crazy it was like there was literally burnt trees and you could rub off the tree and it's it, tragic tragic uh so that was the auto levels there on the um on the vixia with the lavalier microphone now to wrap up this exciting audio comparison now I, I, this is boring i don't i don't envision many people will want to watch this youtube video but I just want to say that this is for me a very crucial part of the process of learning is I go out, I try to learn about audio and video. I go out, the real kind of, I wouldn't say sucks, but like there's a lot of it that's really bad. And I watch it back and I try to figure out retrospectively, okay, what was, what went wrong there? Um, and I'm just kind of taking notes. Uh, sometimes mental notes, other times I actually do write notes in uh, my Google Drive. Okay, final clip here, as I, as I said, was the voice to camera to lav mic with manual level. So this is going to be the same sort of me narrating um, the, uh, the devastation in the forest, except that I dialed in the uh, levels before. And you should actually, I'm trying to think, they're probably, the hissing wasn't too bad, but that's the main problem I've had with uh, using the auto level with external mics on the Vixia is just this terrible hissing. So I'm just going to play that back. So we're just here at um, in Jerusalem Forest. The, is the fact that as far away as South Jerusalem in um, just coming in through our air conditioners. So the clip, there's never really silence in the clip because there's either wind noise or there's narration. But um, so I, you can't really hear it, but I, I'd be pretty certain that if the wind miraculously completely dropped um, and I stopped speaking for a few seconds, you would hear, uh, you would get that hissing sound. And that's basically how I set the manual level. If you know a better way, drop a comment, please. I'd love to know about it. Um, I reduced the gain level until I got to the point where the hissing was gone. Then I spoke one testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three, until I saw that the levels were uh, not clipping basically. Uh, not going up too high in the level meter and once I had those two things then I left it. Now final clip. So we're just driving here to uh, from Jerusalem to Beit Shemesh to check out the new... Sorry that was the uh, wrong clip that was the I, I was like that that does not sound better that was the uh, internal auto level so let's go for lav mic with manual levels. We're just driving today between Jerusalem and Beit Shemesh my wife and I were going to check out one of the latest Ikeas in the country and as we're doing so, this part of it. Just a quick point, the lavalier microphone being used to record this is a $20 wireless lav mic from AliExpress. So uh, there's things I can do to get the sound right, including in post-production, including getting the levels right, but I'd imagine there's like quite a lot that I just can't do because the quality of the hardware is just not that great. Um, the second thing to note is that I'm recording this straight into the camcorder and uh, that's always, you know, you're going to be working with the preamps that are part of the of the Vixia. So that's another thing that is uh, making it difficult for us to achieve nice audio quality here. Um, I am going to, I did pick up when I was in the US, a Zoom H1N and I'm going to graduate soon to recording it separately. But for the moment, uh, I didn't have time to sort of do such elaborate setups uh, on this uh, on this go. So let's just listen to a bit of this. Israel, the road here between Jerusalem and Beit Shemesh is full of forests. And under normal conditions, the forests are very green and verdant. But if you take a look around, you can see the devastation that has been... 
The writer in me is getting annoyed. Greed, green and verdant mean the same thing. They need to say it twice. Caught by these forest fires that were burning all over the Jerusalem hills uh, for the last week. Now they are only officially declared extinguished, I believe, about a week. Anyway, I think the level is, I think that definitely sounds better. Let me just give you a quick head to head comparison. Let's open up the auto level clip and let's open up the manual level clip on the one screen. Can I manage this with my burgeoning OBS? Uh, ah, I need to do them. All right, well, let's just, just do it this way. So we're just here uh, driving from Jerusalem, it's just absolutely burnt. It's we're going on in Jerusalem in as far as they are literally burnt. Lab mic with auto levels, and now let's do lab mic with manual levels again. There's that were burning all over the Jerusalem hills uh, for the last week. Now they are only officially declared extinguished. It's gonna take a tiny bit of the twig off. Yeah, I think it's definitely better. So uh, that is it guys for this, uh, for this video over here. Um, as I have mentioned many times, I am continuing to learn about the exciting the fasc fascinating world of video audio and lighting it's also interesting uh, and i'm just sort of uh, doing these video blogs as i learn stuff because um anyone who's watched this youtube channel knows besides learning video i'm a huge linux and open source geek and i kind of believe in the in just as a concept that if you are learning something and accruing knowledge why not just share it because there's just no point in not sharing it i'm not going to monetize you're not going to see me putting on a course as a uh, guy doing this for a couple of months about how to get good audio levels in the Vixia. So uh, therefore I'm putting these out and the reason I mentioned that is just, you know, um, use your own discretion as to whether you regard this info as, uh, as uh, trustworthy or, uh, or me as not trustworthy. But uh, that is anyway the, the comparison between what the Vixia sounds like recording with the internal microphone external mic using auto levels and finally an external mic after I dialed in the correct level or what I think was about correct using the manual level meter. Now this is clearly about the Vixia but I do imagine that this might be applicable to other uh, consumer level camcorders um, on the market. So hope this video was useful slash interesting and if you would like to uh, receive more such videos and musings for me, then please feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you need to uh, find it on YouTube, you can either type my name into YouTube or you can go ahead and uh, use the URL, the web address in the bottom of this, uh, of this uh, screen here. Thank you very much for watching and until next time.